Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech and Google released Android P Beta 3 or Developer Preview 4. This brings in a more final version of this update. It's it's more finalized as far as what it's going to be like when it releases later in the fall. And they've tweaked quite a few things. It's more responsive. Uh, things just flow a little bit easier and hopefully it has less lockups, but it is pretty good for an early beta. So let's talk about what's changed though. If I swipe up, this animation's a little bit different and they've tweaked the back button. It looks a little bit smaller. There's a lot of little icon tweaks throughout. There's a new rotation lock button here, so it looks a little bit different. And you might notice that the theme is dark now. There's a manual dark theme. So if we go in here, a lot of these icons have changed. But if we scroll down to display, go to advanced, go down to device theme, you'll see we have automatic based on the wallpaper, light and dark. So I've got it on dark and it's not dark everywhere. It's just dark in certain places like this. So I'm not sure if this will change later on when it finally comes out. I'm not sure at this point. Now, when you go back home here and we go into our recent apps, if we scroll, they're a little bit larger, a little bit easier to see. Now, not only that, but a lot of the animations have changed. Uh, nothing huge, but it is a little bit smoother and nicer. Now the status bar on the top is a little bit smaller than before. That area has just been tweaked a little bit. It's still very legible, but it is a little bit smaller and you can still see it no problem. Now there's a new icon when you have battery saver enabled. So if we go here, turn on battery saver, you'll see the icons a little bit different up in the upper right. So that's changed. Now there's also a different icon for the keyboard. So maybe you go into, let's go into settings. Maybe we'll search for something here. If you have an additional keyboard, it will show down here with a new icon. So I don't have that currently, but you'll have that if you actually have different keyboards installed. Now let me turn off battery saver. And there's another thing for your call volume. So if you go in here, go to your settings, call volume is now split as well. So you've got these all split up, which is really nice, much better than before. And I just enjoy this little sidebar as well. It makes things a lot easier, especially if you want to mute or unmute or just turn it to vibrate. Now, if you use the always on display, like I do tap on it here, all of those notification icons are now gone. I found those to be really annoying. I like that. It's just the time and maybe an alarm you have set and that's it. So I find that much better, much cleaner. There's also a new setting for Bluetooth A2DP hardware offload in the developer options. So let's go here. We'll go down and I don't have developer options turned on on this device, but if you turn those on, you'll have an A2DP Bluetooth update. Now that's pretty much it, except for some changes to the older pixel devices that didn't have all the options. The app actions are now there as well. And that's pretty much it. Those are all the tweaks that they've put all over the place. Uh, nothing really outstanding, but things are seeming a little bit quicker, a little bit smoother with animations. It's really nice to use. I've been enjoying using it all, all together and it's been really stable. I've had no issues with my alarms. I use those a lot. So let me know your experience though with beta three or developer preview four in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and like. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.